Hey guys, Dave here from the Manic Miners, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. So, as the title of this video says, today I'm going to be going through how to farm exotic ships in No Man's Sky. Um, why would you be farming for no, uh, exotic ships? Well, there's a couple of reasons. First one, if you're like me, you don't have all the portal glyphs. Maybe you've just not long started the game, or you just, have, like me, just haven't gone down the path of getting all the glyphs. Uh, secondly, you want to get your own ship rather than going to the... You have got all the glyphs and uh, you want to get your own ship rather than having to get somebody else's. So, this is a surefire way of getting an exotic ship. Right, let, let me just take you into first person. Okay, so if you are new to No Man's Sky and haven't seen any before, these are the exotic ships. And I've got these in the past two to three days. I didn't have any. I just thought, oh, I found quite fancy some of those. They are pretty good looking ships. They've got all sorts of uh, animations that go with them. They're all S class. Quite small in inventory space, but they're really nice. They look great. They fly good. So if you want to snag yourself one of these ships, carry on watching the video. Now, there is a couple of things you're going to need before we even start doing this uh, little task. You're going to need between 5 and 20 million units. And I only say that is the cheapest S-Class that I've seen uh, exotic. It was 5 million. I think the most is probably about 16 for the Squid Calamari one. And if you don't know what that is, I'll put a picture on the screen right now, up in the right-hand corner, of what one of those looks like. I still haven't snagged myself one of those yet. Secondly, you're going to need some warp fuel so that we can jump and to a specific system where we can get some of these ships. Thirdly, you're going to need the economy scanner, which you can get the blueprint from the Nexus. So uh, if you don't know how to do that, I'm sure there's lots of videos that will tell you how to get to the Nexus. And fourthly, the one that I dread to have to say, this does this is not an instant thing. This is going to take some time. So... Uh, Make sure you've got some time on your hands, but it's worth it. So, without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay. Now just remember guys, if you are going for an exotic and you don't, unlike me, don't have a freighter, you will need... Um, to trade your ship in. You can only have one ship if you don't have a freighter and if you do have a freighter you can only have a maximum of six ships. So just be, keep that in mind. Now what we're going to do, we're going to call the galaxy map in and if you have the economy scanner installed, if we press R, I'm on PC by the way, If you notice it will say if you look at the economy the last word on the economy like this one this system is struggling this system is not available nobody's been there this system here is destitute this one's developing now what what we're looking for this would be ideal what we are looking for is a high tier economy system so booming would be fantastic this is the GEC region which is cool uh, and we were after a booming system so this would be ideal for us now there is lots of different descriptions for what uh, systems have money and they are advanced affluent booming flourishing high supply opulent prosperous and wealthy so any of those travel to one of those systems just have a scan around your, your map and then you should be able to get a ship from it because any of the other any of the, the failing or not so wealthy uh, economies don't have these ships in them but all the others will always have one exotic ship in that system all right let's get in there Okay, so we've just come to our new system, which I'm not even going to pronounce because most of these bloody system names are absolutely ridiculously spelt. 
And the first thing you're going to want to do, guys, is go straight to the space station. Find the space station and get straight to it. And the reason for that being, as soon as you enter the system, the timer starts for the waves of ships that are flying around the system. So we're going to enter the space station. We're going to park up. And this is the part where it can get quite monotonous. Now, since a few updates ago, it takes 45 seconds or so for the first wave of ships to come in. Now, out in, in every system, there is a pool of 21 ships, freighters, shuttles, um, and fighters. Now, out of all that, there is one exotic ship in a high-tier system. So... But it's a random when it's going to be chosen. Now, I always stand over here, firstly, because I can see all the way down the end of the entrance to the space station. And secondly, because of the noise from all the aliens over the other side, I'll put headphones, so you can take them off if you want. But I just stand here. And you've just got to watch and wait for an exotic ship to come in. So, I won't bore you with the wait because this could take five minutes could take two minutes could take two hours so make sure you got get yourself a, a book or something but keep an eye on the screen and uh, we'll see if, a, see if a ship comes in okay well that took like three minutes for that to come in and straight away Get out of the way, God damn it, hauler. Yeah, so I've been in been in here for about five minutes and straight away we get a yellow. I think these are a guppy with a fin on the top. And let's go and find out how much this is. Bright yellow, looks pretty cool. Let's go and have a word with him. How much is it? Right, that's 10 million. It's got 19 slots, which isn't too bad at all, actually. So, uh, yeah, I think we're actually going to snag that one because I have another guppy with less slots than that, in which we can trade in. So I'm going to buy it. And there you go. I've just snagged myself my fifth exotic ship in the last three days. So this is pretty much a dead cert way of getting it. I know there's a lot of people out there that probably know this, but... I've done a lot of trawling around on the internet recently and for all those players that haven't got the portal glyphs and want to snag themselves one of these bad boys they're really really well for good for upgrading you can if you want max out all the slots in it up with the ship upgrading thingy bob up in the uh, space station there so yeah there you go you can just keep on doing if you've got a freighter you can keep jumping from system to system this yellow ship will always spawn in this system now so you know this ship's always here you can make a note of it and uh, if you want to tell other people uh, that where this ship is if you go to photo mode if you look down in the left hand bottom of the corner it tells you the portal glyph location jot that down and uh, you can share it on the hub so I hope you've uh, I hope you found this uh, video helpful for you and if you want to go snag yourself some more ships you know how to do it now go to any wealthy system sit in the space station. there is other ways of doing it you can pop out pop down to the trading post but i have a really good success with the space stations and uh yeah as i say now this is my fifth ship in the last three days so uh, it really does work and just to prove that this is mine i'm going to nip out and if you look at this little bad boy we're going to third uh if we go into third person how do we go into third person on a ship? No, no. Starship mode. Look at the animations on this thing. The wings close. Undercarriage comes out. It's bloody awesome. So guys, thank you for watching the video. If you if it was helpful for you, we'd really appreciate if you could like click the like button maybe subscribe i'll do some more of these videos if you want i know quite i've been i put about 200 hours into no man's sky i know quite a few things of how to make money if it's uh, if you're early game 
and uh, some general tips. If you want to know some more stuff about this, don't forget to comment down below or just say hello. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.